Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I wanted to walk you through the process of getting an MDM, an MDM certificate and using it inside of MDS. Um, the process requires a little bit of coordination because you have to generate the request from inside of MDS, upload it to Two Canoes, get it signed by Two Canoes, then take that result and upload it to Apple, and then finally get a signed MDM certificate and, in, and import that into MDS. So this video will walk you through the entire process. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we'll do is you'll notice there's a new MDM uh, icon in the upper left hand corner. So I'll go ahead and click it and I'll try and start the MDS, uh, the MDM service. And you can see that the configuration uh, SSL has not been configured. And you need an SSL certificate at this point, not for push, but to, to secure the communication between um, the MDM service running on this Mac and any of the clients. And it also requires it if you want to open up a browser and communicate with the MDM service on this local machine, uh, it has to trust that certificate. So it needs to have that communication encrypted. So the first thing we'll do is we'll generate that. So I will open up a uh, I open up the preferences and uh, under security, I'll click on generate uh, self sign request. And my host name is uh, mdscentral.local. It's good for five years. And I'll save this. And um, under uh, the um, in my home directory, I'll create a new folder um, called a security uh, um, for MD MDS, security MDS. So I'll click on a create and create that folder and then I'll save this self sign certificate and you can see that it populated all of the um, uh, populated the pass to the, the correct certificate and key. So we're all done there. Um, in order to use a browser or for the MDS service to communicate with the MDM service, um, we need to trust that certificate. So we could go into keychain and import it into the system keychain and trust it. Um, or we can just copy this command and run it in terminal. So there we go. Prompts me for my admin password. And now if we look in the keychain, you don't have to do this part because it is trusted. So if we go to MDS Central, you'll see that it's trusted and it's in the system keychain. So that's set up perfect. So now I'll click on OK. And when I go back and I try and start up the service, this time it'll work correctly. Um, we'll still get a message saying, hey, we don't have a push certificate to be able to tell our clients to communicate with us. That's what this whole kind of exercise is about. Um, but at least we have the MDM service running. You can see that's down here. So um, I'll click on OK. Um, if you click on more information, it would take you to a website and show you how to be able to do this. So um, I'll just kind of walk you through it. So the first thing we want to do is export an unsigned certificate request. And it requests, um, the country that you're coming from and our email as well as a password to encrypt the private key. The private key doesn't leave this machine, um, but it is kept until the very end where we upload this private key and the signed uh, um, certificate for the push notification. So I'll go ahead and export this and I will save it into that security MDS uh, folder that I created. And I'll, I'll make a new folder called APNS and save it into that folder. So now uh, we can upload this one to Two Canoes to be able to uh, have it um, signed by Two Canoes. But in order to do that, we need to have the ability to have sign um, added to our account. So we have a new, um, uh, as part of our support plans for MDS, we have the ability to uh, sign certificates. So you can see here, the least expensive one is this MDM push certificate is included as part of this, the starter. So if I'll click on buy now, And I'll put in my uh, email address. And this is the email address that I'm going to use to communicate with, uh, um, that I'll use to get my assets in my account. So I'll do that. Finish my, now I'll, I'll complete this purchase. And after I complete this, it'll add that asset to my account. So now we're done. It gives us some more information um, about where to go and do it next, which is kind of what we're covering here. But now we just go back and say, upload to sign. It opens up a finder window with the private key, which clearly says do not upload, so we won't. And the other one that says unsigned CSR uploaded to canoes. So now I can go and I see it automatically opens up this certificate signing request place on our website. So I'll go to upload and I'll drag this onto here and I'll click on sign. And there it did, it signed the certificate signing request. So now it's signed by two canoes and I'll download it.
And once it's been downloaded, I'll move it into this folder so we can keep it organized. And you can see that this one is called Vendor Sign CSR Upload This to Apple. And so on this page, you can see there's a link to Apple's push certificate portal. You don't have to have a developer account to do this, but you do have to have created an account, um, a free account. So we click on create certificate and I'll drag this in and upload this to Apple. And so what Apple does, it takes this request that's been signed by two canoes and then uh, the vendor two canoes and allows you to download the final sign certificate that we can use in MDS. So I'll move that into the correct location. We're all done with these these uh, these these windows, and so now we can go back to the MDM service and import the MDM push certificate. So we'll select uh, in APNS. Uh, we'll select the MDM uh, two canoe certificate, the private key that's associated with it, and then the password that we gave it at the beginning. Click on import. And there, it's been imported. To see if it's correct, you can see the MDM service is running. It's got a green dot now for push certificates, which is great. And we hit refresh, we don't have any devices yet. So the first thing to do, let's go ahead and enroll in MDM, this machine that I'm running it on right now. So I can click on open enrollment page, click on enroll device, and you can see that it downloaded a, a configuration profile. And I will import this in. All right, so now this machine is being managed by MDM. And I can see if I refresh this list that there it's available. And now I can start installing applications, getting inventory on it, whatever kind of commands. So let me send a command device information. I'll send a request. And now when I go in and look at it, you can see that it has the device name, the host name, those kind of things. And I can start um, using it and managing uh, these Macs through the MDM service right in MDS. MDS also supports DEP, which helps you in the initial deployment, and that's totally integrated into the other parts of MDS. Um, but I wanted to show you how to use the push um, certificate um, to uh, enable the MDM feature. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's relatively straightforward, just a lot of steps to be able to um, do the dance to get it uh, signed by two canoes and then signed by Apple and then imported back in. So thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos like this and get more information. And make sure to stop back at twocanoes.com slash MDS to get the latest information on MDS. So thank you very for thanks very much for watching and have a great day.